We spent a lot of time watching YouTube videos about Morocco before we traveled there. We couldn't help but notice that most of these videos are made by reasonably young people. So we decided to make our own. We're not young, but we decided to travel for a month with backpacks and only the vaguest idea of where we were going. So welcome to our traveling series where you can watch short to the point videos showing each place that we went to. Enjoy. Okay, so it is the uh, 10th of uh, April. We're up, we're awake, <coughs> it's about 8.30 in the morning. And uh, we're here in our very nice hotel in Erfurt. We're going down to <coughs> um, <coughs> the Grand Taxi station. And we're gonna take a Grand Taxi to uh, Eritagia. And then we're going to arrive, we think, somewhere in the area of 5 p.m. today. The whole day. Or so, yeah, we'll be traveling all day long. It's a, it's a big travel. I think today is our biggest travel day. Okay, so now we're in uh, the Get On Taxi. And we're going to Eritrea. We were told that we could take a Another taxi from Eritrea to Urgadani, but now we're told that it's not going to happen, so we're going halfway. We're going to stop there. We're going to get a taxi from there. Let's see how it goes today. Okay, so um, we're halfway between. Um, well, we're on our way to Warzazat, Warzazat. And uh, we made it here, got a couple of tickets. And uh, we're hoping for the best. It's 12.30, it's two and a half hours away from here. Don't really know what's going on, but feeling a bit optimistic that we're in the right place. This is going to be our vehicle right here. And um, we've been told at the moment there's just the two of us. And that could be told it could be soon, told it could be hours. It's a heavy duty place here with a lot of Grand Taxis, even some going to Marrakesh. And so the Grand Taxi eventually did fill up almost. And in the end, we were on our way. Um, after uh, a few hours, we actually managed to arrive at beautiful Wazazat. <laughs> It's 4.20, and we've uh, arrived at Ibis. So we stayed at Ibis Wazazate, which was just fine. It's a package tour hotel, but quite comfortable and well-situated with a pool. Okay, so we're here by the pool in uh, our, uh, our hotel, the incredible... Hotel Ibis, and for the very first time in our Moroccan vacation, it's a really real Moroccan beer. having a beer, which is something incredible. The area around the Ibis Hotel had very few restaurants that we could find. Our choices were either eating in the hotel or walking down the street to the wonderful Full Sun restaurant. Like many chain hotels, we found the food might not be really that great and kind of overpriced, so we ate at the Full Sun pretty well all the time. We had no regrets. This is, a, this is definitely the place to eat if you were in this part of town. <music> 
has a fairly active film industry centered around Urzazate. Gladiator, Game of Thrones, and other well-known productions were filmed here. In the city itself, travelers can visit the Casbah and the wonderfully bizarre Cinema Museum, but most people come here for Ik Benadeu, uh, a UNESCO World Heritage Site nearby. We spend a bit of time in the Casbah. Upon entering, you'll walk by a gauntlet of tour guides who inform you that the Casbah is just really a series of empty rooms, and without a guide, you will have no idea what you're seeing. As we've heard this often, we just marched right in, only to learn that the guards were the guides were in fact correct. The Casbah is a series of rooms with nothing in them at all. You go from one to another without any idea of what you're seeing. It has the look and feel of a tourist trap. Should you get a guide? Maybe. Alternatively, just take a photo from outside. The other thing to do in this city is to visit the uh, Cinema Museum. This place gets very low ratings on Google, yet we found it wonderful. It ranks number one in the most bizarre museum in, Mex in Morocco. Basically, you walk from room to room looking at old film sets. You can sit in a variety of thrones, and you can gawk at fake Egyptian tombs and look at old cameras and equipment. In one room, you can pay the security guard a little bit to allow you to wear gladiator-like costumes and take photos of each other. And we spent an hour or two here and had lots of laughs. Don't believe the reviews. The vast majority of tourists, however, come here to see Ik Bin Adu, which is about a 20-minute drive away. And what are your thoughts about Ik Bin Adu? It's nice to see. It's worth to visit. It sure is. One of the amazing things about this place, of course, is that this is where the gladiator was filmed. So this is really a film set. A lot of movies. Lawrence of Arabia, for example. The Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones filmed here. And you can see all the way down there that they're getting ready for Gladiator 2 by building the Colosseum. And long ago, this would have been a truly remarkable place. Largely built in the 17th century, it's an impressive sight. It's now firmly on the bus tour route, and so suffers from too many tourists and all that this entails. While it's worth a visit, it is, quite frankly, a little bit of a tourist trap. If you're in Morocco for a while, you'll see a lot of historic villages that are authentic rather than film settings like this one. Still, we're glad we went, as we're big fans of Gladiator. After the relative poverty of Erfud, we were surprised by how wealthy Orzazat seemed. I suppose it's the film industry, but something is clearly going right for this town. We were also surprised at how fun the cinema museum was and how not fun the Casbah was. Well, maybe we should have hired a guide. Like the rest of Morocco, Orzazat is a safe place. We encountered no problems at all. This being said, every tour bus going or coming from the desert stops here. This isn't a problem in and of itself, but you might find a lot of touts near the Casbah and in Ik Bin Adu, attracted by the legions of tourists. Just be polite and give them that old favorite, La Shukran. We probably wouldn't make a special trip just to see Orzazat and Ik Bin Adu. They're just not that great. Being between Marrakesh and Merzouka, they make convenient stopovers along the way, 
and are worth spending a bit of time, if just for the photos.